Alright, so guys, we're on our way to the gym. It's day number two. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of cardio today. I don't know how much of that I'm gonna record because uh, it's fucking cardio. So, not really that much interesting to see of me doing cardio unless you want to watch me literally dying. So, yeah, I don't know how much of that I'm gonna really record. Um, but yeah, kind of like a rest day, but keeping active, staying active. Um, especially because we're trying to cut before the ball. So, good to do some cardio. And, uh... I don't do cardio a whole lot, so uh, wish me luck and hope I don't fucking die, so. Alright guys, so we just finished up at the gym. Um, I did about a half hour cardio, um, then like 40 minutes of the sauna, but... The only reason I'm doing cardio right now is, well, today was kind of like a rest day, trying to recover um, with the sauna. Um, also, because I'm cutting right now, and number three for the bulk, because when I'm bulking, I don't want to be absolutely dead when I'm in there lifting. I don't want to be panning after the lifts. Um, right now, I'm trying to cut down before the bulk and trying to lose some of the extra fat I can and burning calories. Build up your cardiovascular um, fitness for that? Build, yeah. So basically, that's where I'm at right now. Um, we're gonna head back, watch some football, chill all day, um, probably edit some videos, get some food. Um, I don't know, not much else. Uh, make sure we're eating healthy today. Yesterday, I kind of cheated a little bit. Sat at right around roughly 3,000 calories, about maybe a little bit higher. Um, but today we went and did some cardio to get rid of that water weight. Um, and sat in the sauna which helps um, but i do want to i do want to stress on something <clears throat> real quick though it's refeed days are really important um especially when you're on a hard cut because you need to build your metabolism if you're not building your metabolism if if you're on a hard cut your metabolism is just going to be shredded by the time you get back to your maintenance calories you're depriving your body of the macro and micronutrients it needs to function on a day-to-day -day basis which is going to stop your body from burning fat as efficiently as if you were to refeed it yeah obviously you can't go one day of dying and be like oh, i need to refeed this is we're talking after like six seven days of hard cutting your body's just going to start to shut down it's not going to want to burn fat efficiently yep. it's in a state of just absolute deprivation for hours and hours on end yeah uh, you're it's not going to be efficient it's gonna you're gonna switch over into starvation mode which is actually a thing your body's just so deprived yeah so basically what david just said all in a nutshell um yeah so that's basically why um refeed days are important for you um, well, you gotta do your cardio. Gotta yeah, you. I mean, definitely, you have to get rid of that water weight that you had from the night before. Um, you don't have switch to, your body back into a mode where it can burn through those extra like calories. A, yeah, if you don't want to look like a shit show until it burns itself off, as long as you're eating healthy. But if you eat healthy for six days out of the week, why not go get a fucking McDonald's cheeseburger? Really? <laughs> I mean, what's the big deal? You know, I mean, you're gonna be craving that, and you're gonna be worse you're gonna eat for a whole week instead of just one day so why not you know refeed for one day um you're probably gonna make good use of those fats and exactly you're gonna store getting, them the right way you're not gonna refill your glycogen stores and you're not gonna feel like shit for a week you're only gonna feel like shit for a day the one day you push yourself past that day and you're fine so and really if you do it the right way you shouldn't even feel like shit because you're not you shouldn't i mean you shouldn't be eating over like it's not like you're going out and eating ten thousand calories in one day i mean realistically you can if you're burning enough but enough to bring you back up to about maintenance when you're in a cut if you can eat a cheat day and, and your normal day's maintenance maybe a little bit higher you're fine nothing's gonna be nothing's gonna bad is gonna happen to you you're gonna be fine so it's not bad to refeed and don't think it's bad to refeed because it's not City's wild. It is. Pretty nice day out. Yeah. So I'm just gonna cut the audio out of this. 
All right, y'all. So we got the Lions game on. Um, two people almost died already, but uh, we're getting ready to make some eggs. Um, we're gonna make a shitload of eggs. Um, but yeah, that's about where we're at right now. Just kind of chilling, watching the game, making food. Y'all made approximately 14 eggs. They're still cooking, so y'all could see. Um, yeah. So we got about 490 calories each in eggs here. So there's 14 divided by 2. So, yeah. So we're going to be at 490 on the day. A little bit more because we're probably going to put some ketchup on the eggs because eggs suck dick without ketchup. One thing that I will preach about is don't, I mean, don't kill yourself when you're cutting. I mean, have the foods you like. Like, you know, don't not put ketchup on eggs because you don't like them. You have to. So, I mean, you're just going to want to kill yourself if not. So, all right, guys, so we got a perfect 303. Got our eggs all laid out. Now we're gonna eat them. Let's go. All right, guys, finally gave in. Um, you know, a lot of hesitation and want, but didn't know if I needed. But you know, finally gave in. Bought a Ninja Creamy. Just got back from the store. Um, yeah, still been just watching football all day, chilling. We're gonna open this up. And get this bad boy cooking. Got the instruction manual. Yeah, don't know if we'll ever use that to be quite honest. Okay, box, we don't need that no more. Okay, let's get this unwrapped. So, this will be good for making some protein ice cream. Keep our cravings away. Here's our little handheld device. Let's go. Looks snazzy. Pretty. Oh, there we go. Comes with a little, I don't even know, but it comes with something in there. I should probably check out. Oh, that's probably the blender tool thing. Yeah, that's definitely what it is. Okay. But yeah, guys. Finally gave in and got one. So, yeah. I'm going to get this all set up. <laughs> these steaks for dinner they are 170 calories per four ounces and uh, 24 grams of protein per four ounces so we're good we got three packages of them right here we're gonna go grill up with some potatoes and that's gonna be our dinner we're still waiting for our ninja things to freeze I don't know if it's gonna be done tonight I mean it's kind of looking like it might be but we'll see so yeah that's where we're at right now we're about to go make some steaks guys when we do this this is not something you guys should take advice on um, if you want to learn how to start a charcoal grill because this is not at all Sorry. even close to how you should be doing this watch your fingers when you oh yes there we go no just leave it just leave it yeah you just leave it it's gonna go Oh, yeah. Okay, we got it roaring now, guys. Dude, if we put the steaks on what was like this, they'd probably be cooking. <laughs> they would be. They'd also burn sh shit on the outside. And what were you talking about, David? No, 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 I said fucking, we spray this shit with lighter fuel. It's just fake fucking fire. It doesn't, it won't hurt you. It'll go away really quick. You're not in it for long enough. But you said it'll still burn you. It'll still burn you. If you got your hand really close in there, up. if you got your hand in there and you got fake fire going on, you'll fucking you'll toast your fingers. But no, if you're standing away from it, you cook that shit with some water fluid, you're good. So guys, on a cut, I mean, you guys don't understand how good these these steaks are going to taste to me. I mean, these are going to be fire, aren't they, David? Yeah, they're going to be pretty fucking good. 
I'm trying to season this, but there's so much smoke. Oh. I know. Guys, that smoke is crazy. Okay. Oh, look at that smoke, guys. These are going to taste absolutely amazing. Let's see if they are ready to be flipped. Yeah, you know, they could use a little nice little flippage. Guys, that grill's hot when you touch it with your bare hands. That grill is hot, guys. Alright, guys, the steaks are finally done. Alright, so we got the creamy mixture done. We're going to set it in here. And then put the lid on. In there, oh, yeah, lock Pick it up, turn it on, put on some ice cream. All right, guys, so the first one is done. First mix looks good, turned out nice. That looks good. Looks good. So, we're taking two pieces of Oreos, we're gonna mix them in, crush them. This lid back on. Yeah, we're gonna do mixings. Alright, guys. So the second spin is done. That looks absolutely amazing. Um, let's try it. That is really good. That is absolutely amazing. That is fire. Wow. That is insane. <laughs> Alright, we're going to eat this up and uh, finish up the rest of the night. Alrighty, y'all. So, I'll be honest with you. I didn't record much last night. Um, there wasn't much going on. Though. Not much to record. We just kind of watched football all day yesterday. But, yeah. Um, but basically, that is going to conclude today's video. Um, hope y'all enjoyed. Hope y'all are staying with me on this journey. I'm going to get today's video started now. I'm going to get this one edited. And, uh, yeah, that's about all I got going on. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I love you all so much. And, yeah, peace.